Welcome. Here's a cute trick for working out your multiplication tables. You do need to know your small ones, all the multiples up to 5, say, but thereafter, your fingers can do the work. Let's work out our multiples up to 10 using a cute finger trick. For example, suppose we wish to work out 7 times 8. Now I've got two hands. Each hand has five digits. A closed fist is going to represent five. So here's a closed fist, my left hand. But to make it seven, we'll raise one finger thereafter. So each finger adds a digit. So that's six, seven. So seven is represented by closed fist plus two extra digits, five plus two. To make eight, start with a closed fist and raise three fingers. Whoops, one finger disappeared. There's the, a representation of the number eight. So here we are, five and eight. Sorry, seven and eight. Now, to compute, compute the product 7 times 8, all we need to do is say that each raised finger is worth 10. So I currently have 5 fingers raised, 5 tens makes 50. And to complete the product, count the number of fingers down. On the left, I have 3 fingers down. On the right, I have 2 fingers down. And multiply those together. And add to that, 3 times 2 makes 56. 7 times 8 is 56. That's correct. Let's do another one. If I had a video of myself, this would be much easier to see. You can actually see me do this with my hands, and it's much more fun. So maybe you want to do this with your hand as you listen on. So let's do, say, whoops, let's get a pen, 6 times 9. Again, a closed fist is worth 5, but to make it 6, add a finger. 6. A closed fist is worth 5, to make it worth 9, add 4 fingers. Raise 4 fingers. There we go. There's a representation of 6 and a representation of 9. All right. To compute the product, each finger up is worth 10. That's currently five fingers up. That's 50 again. And add to that, multiplying the fingers down. There are four fingers down on this side, one finger down on this side. Four times one is four. I bet six times nine is 54. In fact, while I clear up the board here, maybe you'd like to work out eight times nine via this method, or six times six, or do something extreme, 10 times 10. Again, each finger up is worth 10, and you multiply the fingers down, and voila, up pops the product, like magic. All right, here goes. Uh, if we want to go a little bit further and make use of our toes as well, we can get all the way up to our 20 times tables. For example, let me show you how to compute 17 times 18. This time, I'm going to use all 20 digits, 10 toes and 10 fingers. On the left side of my body, I've got five of each, I've got 10 digits in all. And the right side of my body, I've got five of each, 10 digits of all. So the left, I'll represent the number 17. On my left side, all my toes and all my fingers are currently down. That's worth 10 now. To make it 17, raise one digit for each number after 10. So for 17, on my left, I need to raise five toes and two fingers. So I have seven digits up on my left. And if you can see my body, I currently have three fingers down and no toes down. On my right, Everything down is currently worth 10. To make it 8, I raise 5 toes and 3 fingers. That currently gives me 8 digits up. And if you can see me, I have 2 digits down. All right, since so now I'm working in a system of 20, each digit up is now worth 20. Currently I have 7 up on the left, 8 up on that. I've got 15 digits up in total. 15 20s is 300. And just like before, I'm going to multiply the digits down and add that to my product so far. I have 3 down on the left, 2 down on the right, 3 times 2 is 6. I bet 17 times 18 is 306. As another example, let's uh, try computing, say, 16 times 19. Let me write this on the board. 16 times 19. Again, I'm basing this on fingers and toes, on, on tens and twenties. On my left, I have all digits down. Five toes down, ten toes down. To make that uh, worth worth 16, I'll add six digits. So six up, five toes, one finger. And just since you can't see me, after, I'll just note that's four digits down on my left. To make my right side, which is currently ten, ten digits, five toes, five fingers all down, to make it 19, raise nine up. And that leaves me one down, one finger down. Again, each digit up is worth 20. 6 and 9, that's 15 digits up in total. That's 15 20s is 300 again. And I add to that the product of the digits down. 4 down and 1 down. 4 times 1 is 4. I bet 16 times 19 is 304. This is really quite magical. In fact, if you like, for fun, you can try working out, say, 15 times 18 via this method, and 19 times 19, and so on. Wonderful. 
Of course, the deep question here is why does this work? And that's the more magical thing. But I'll leave that as a little mystery for you. Feel free to go to, uh, to this particular book to see the true answer. But I'll also leave you with another mystery. I happen to know that Martians have two hands, and on each hand they have six digits. So I'm wondering, how does this finger trick translate for Martians? Hmm, very curious. If you can answer that question, you've got the algebra down pat behind this magical trick. Okay, thanks very much.